Good morning, year two. It's Thursday, the 4th of March, and it is phonics time. We're going to start today with our phase five flashcards. So remember to try to say the sound before I say it. And if you know that the graphing that I've shown you can make more than one sound, try to get both of them. Right, let's see. Now, it's that one that one is oi. Oh, what's on it? Oh, that one's got two. That can be ooh, like in screw, or it can be phew, a u sound. A, or e, or f. Ow. Ooh or you, that one. Ooh or you. Oh. What? I. Or. A. I or E. Ooh or you. E. Uh, well done, I bet you did a good job with those. I'm sure you did a super job. I had a lovely video of Dante the other day doing his phonic sounds. Maybe you would like to send one of you practicing those as well. Right, so we are thinking today about the months of the year. So Monday and Tuesday, we thought about the days of the week. Today and Friday, we are going to think about the months of the year. So I have got another song for you this morning. It is a months of the year song. So you may know the months of the year in order. You may already know that, but it's always nice to have a little practice and a little sing along. So I will send the link out to Marvellous Me as well for this one. So we're going to have the song through twice. So the first time, have a little listen, see if you can practice reading and seeing the days, uh, the months of the year and having a listen to the tune. And then next time through, you can have a go at joining in the months of the year. Maybe you want to send a little video of you having a sing along of that. I would love to see. So, we're going to practice today thinking about reading the months of the year. We're going to have a practice. We're going to think about which parts might be tricky first. And then we're going to have a little months of the year bingo game. Okay, so our first one then is January. Now, I have done them in order to make it a little bit easier for us today. I've done them in order first of all. So, we've got Jan. January. So the tricky part, if we were reading January, is that the letter U makes a U sound. J and Jan U. And then we've got Airy. Okay, so the A sort of making an air sound. J and Jan U Airy. January. January, that's the first month of the year. And just like the days of the week, all of the months of the year had capital letters at the start as well. So we've got January. Okay, then. Now, I think the person singing in the video then didn't say February the same way that I did. Because when I say February, I don't, and I don't think most people pronounce the R, we say February. So again, the U is making the U sound, and again, we've got this air sound to make airy at the end. So, Feb, U, airy, February. And it's got an R that we 
usually do not pronounce. Because we don't usually say February. We say February. Okay, so February. You have to remember it's got two R's, one after the B. And then this one is exactly as we would expect it to be spelt. M R -ch March. Exactly how we would expect. There are no tricky, tricky, sneaky spellings for March. April then. So we've got letter A making a long vowel sound. A is making an A sound. April ends in I and L making the O sound. April. April. O is making the O sound. We wouldn't usually say April. We'd say April. April. May is like March. It's exactly how we would expect it to be spelt. A for play, which usually comes at the end of the word. Then we've got June. J. Oon. June. Split digraph. U and E making an oo sound. July, which is part of the thing quite tricky about July then. July. So we've got the U making J U Lai. July. J U. And then we've got the Y making an I sound like we have in the word cry or fly. So J U L I. July. Only a short word, but there are some tricky bits to remember. Okay. Or for haunt, like we've practiced with our phase five flashcards, just org, us, August. We have to make sure we remember that it is a U there. August, August. September is spelt like we would expect, but it's quite a long word, so we have to maybe break it down in chunks. So we've got sep, sep. To M U September September October. Now October's got two O's. The first one makes an O sound, and the one in the middle makes an O sound. Oct -ob -u. October. November, we've got tricky word no at the start. So again, O makes an O sound. And again, we might think about chunking when we're reading. So no, the M, the U, November, November. It's breaking it up into the syllables, isn't it? Like we've talked about in comprehension, November. And then we've got our long E sound. D and the letter C is making a s sound. D s m b o December. December. Okay, we're going to have a little practice then doing our month of the year with a bingo game. So we're going to choose six of them. So split your board if you're doing it on a board into six spaces. You might want again to get your grown up to do it as well. So we've got 12 months of the year. I would like you to pick six of them. So six months of the year. Give it a pause, get that done, and then we will have our game of bingo. Okay, have you chosen your six? We are going then today to use this spinner that I have found. So it's going to spin. And the good thing about this one is that it gets rid of the month of the year once we have done it. Okay, so are we ready? Going to spin. What's our first month going to be? Our first month's going to be September. If you've got September, can you cross it off, rub it out, put a line through? September. Next one. Let's see what our next month's going to be. August. Our next one is August. Okay, give it a spin. Okay, 
March, March. What I've done to my sound, you two. July, next one. July, July. One, two, three, four, five, six left. So some of you could have already got bingo because we've already had six so far. Well done if you've already got the bingo. Next one. May. May. Five months ago. You beat your grown up. October. October. Four more. Are you still waiting for any? January. January. November. November. Four more. It's going to be left to last. December. And our last one then will be April. We should all have got bingo now, so our last one would be April. Well, Donna would love to know how well you got on with that bingo game. Let's have a little look then at some sentences with my month of beginning. And remember, what we have to make sure is that we are using a capital letter when we are writing our sentences. So our sentences today need a capital letter at the start. And then a capital letter for all of the months of the year that we write about. Okay, let's see what my sentence says then. So I started with I am looking. I am looking. This word says forward. F or. And then it looks like it's got an R sound, but it is the word forward. I am looking forward to which month? I am looking forward to July. July. Because it might be nice, nice and hot. I am looking forward to July because it might be nice and hot. I have a little look at this one. You might want to pause it and see if you can read it before me. I've got another, another month, and you'll see in the word month over here, that's got the letter O making the O sound like we've talked about in our comprehension videos. This word here is the word favourite. So that's quite a long word. So it's got letter A making the A sound for Ave. And it looks like an owl sound there for favourite. Fave. My favourite month is June. June. Because that is when my birthday. Birthday is. My favourite month is June because that is when my birthday is. I wonder which is your favourite month and why. Okay. I would like you to have a go then at writing two very similar sentences to mine today. I would like you to tell me which is your favourite month and why. It might be because it's when your birthday is. It might be because something else happens that's exciting. So I would like you to write, my favourite month is, and remember to use because to give me a reason why. And then which month are you really looking forward to this year? So we've had 
January, we've had February and we are now into March, aren't we? But which month in the rest of the year are you looking forward to? And again, tell me why. It might be because something really exciting is happening. It might be you've got a special event coming up or it might just be a certain time of year that you really, really like. Maybe you really, really like bonfire night, which would be in November. So maybe you are looking forward to November for bonfire night. Maybe it is October for Halloween. Okay. Maybe you have a birthday that you're looking forward to in a certain month. So I would like two sentences today, remembering to use your capital letters in all the right places, lovely finger spaces, and using because to give me a reason why. Okay, well done. Can't wait to see what months you are writing about and what lovely reasons you come up with. And it's really nice to think about our favourite things and things we are looking forward to, isn't it? And then tomorrow, our last phonic session, before we are back in school, we're going to practice spelling some of our months of the year as well. So show me your sentences from today, please. We still love receiving your photographs of your super, super learning. And don't forget to keep trying on EdShed as well. Well done, you two. And we'll see you tomorrow for our last homeschooling day. Bye.